Hello everyone, it's Casual Collector and this is our very first video. I have Mr. Hans here with me helping with some <laughs> helping with unboxing and we have um, ordered this set of cards from eBay and this was just a little someone getting rid of their cards and um, it will it cost us 20 euro. And uh, we um, already removed the packaging because our address was on it. And this is what was inside. It's a shoe box taped around with some just regular tape. And uh, yeah, now we're going to see what's inside. So yeah, Mr. Hans, do your thing. I'm really curious because we've never ordered cards before in such a manner. It's there is like there was no list on what was inside. There was just a number of cards and uh and the the price and there was no so it's 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 not a Pokemon it's not a Pokemon box, it's a Magic the Gathering box. <laughs> Now that's that's curious. Now I wonder if oh no, there I see Pokemon. For a second there, I thought we were scammed, but um, I see Pokemon cards, so it's not that bad. That's actually quite a lot of Pokemon cards. I'm surprised. I mean, of course, it just it seems much more. Okay, so we have this little collection deck box. And it's filled with cards, and then we have... Oh, that's a lot of cards! <laughs> so what I think we're going to do, we're going to divide these. Oh, and there are some sleeves, look at that! What are these for? Oh, these are for keeping cards in them. Oh, okay, okay, Mr. Hans knows. I'm, I'm, I'm just the voice here. Okay, so the Magic the Gathering box was put aside, and now we have a deck. And these are all Pokémon cards, right? So it seems. That's that's curious. Why did they put it in the Magic the Gathering box? Well, it's a very sturdy looking box, so... Okay, so we have two big piles of cards. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to divide it into two videos <laughs> because that's a lot of cards. So the cards are prepared. We zoomed in a little bit so that you guys can see better. And let's see what we have in the pile. Now remember that um, I am really old and I don't really know how to pronounce all of the names so just bear that in mind and uh, you know be easy on me so let's see we have a grow light oh the first card and something I recognize that's awesome oh and so cute okay it seems like a basic card oh a shiny card Ooh. so this is a supporter card and it's called Bebe's search okay then we have a Weedle, another card I recognize, good, very good. <laughs> and a double, this is a Growlithe again. Now we have a Huntail. Oh, and it's a different language, uh, seems to be Spanish? Very Spanish. <laughs> oh, Charmander! Oh, shiny! Oh, that's nice! And it's a Pikachu, a Pokemon that I recognize, so that's good. Oh, unknown. We have Larvitar. We have Electrike. An Eevee. A coughing. A lot of basic Pokemon, like from the first generation. I like that. Arcanine. So we have a Grow Light and we have an Arcanine. That's ooh, that's pretty. It's a Mewtwo and it's shiny. Or a tidy. Okay. My hands are, are, are nodding here that it's a shiny, so I am <laughs> now we have a Skarmory. Um, a Wormadam? Wormadam? E. Execu uh, execute, sorry. Now we have a Voltorb. Oh, another shiny card, not bad. 
And this is Professor Rowan. Um, a level max. So many shinies now all of a sudden. Pikachu, another shiny! Oh, but that's a different than the last Pikachu. That's cool. And we have a Ponita. Zangoose. I always feel like this is a treasure hunt. You never know what's in, in the next card. Oh, that's also a Zangoose, but that's a different one. Okay, interesting. Oh, and uh, what is that? Bron Bronzong. And it's a shiny card. Are these the ones called Hollow? Looks like Hollow to me. Electric? And that's a double, I think. Or, no, it's a different art. Uh, we have a Farfetch'd. A Chinchou. Chinchou? Chinchou? <laughs> a Seal. Uh, Dodrio, um, these look very vintage to me, like they have been used a lot, you can really see that they have been used, and that's not exactly a bad thing. Another seal, a Kabuto, a Sanchu, a Poliwhirl, a Ratata again, or... I'm not gonna even... At the moment, we had so many cards already that I don't remember what we had before. Uh, Teddy Ursa. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, Tangela. Tangela. A Floatzel. Uh, med... Oh my goodness. Oh, Meditite. <laughs> I have sometimes glare on those cards I don't see very well. It's a Bronzor. We have a Lilip. A Magikarp, yay! A Lickitung. Um, we have a Mana... Mana Fee. And it's a shiny one. Oh, look at that. It's really pretty. Beedrill. So far, so good for 20... Euro, it's a lot of cards. And Electrite, Electrike, sorry, again. Another Pikachu, oh, that this one has a really nice art. We have a Combuscan, or Combuscan, forgive me my uh, pronunciation. A Skorupai, <laughs> and it's a shiny one. Let's concentrate on the fact it's a shiny. Another shiny one. Look at that. And this one is a Triflosion. Triflosion? Triflosion? What? Oh, Typhlosion. Oh, okay. <laughs> a Spoink. We have... Um... Hmm. Hmm. Punch Crow. Punch Crow. I hope that's the right way to say it. <laughs> War Madame. Again. A Magnemite. That's a lot of cards, and we are not even halfway there. Um, Miss. What's a Miss Dravis? Miss Dravis. A Spine Up. You can recognize which. Um, uh, which generation I'm still familiar with. <laughs> Jinx. It's much easier to pronounce. Quillfish. And it's a shiny one. So, a whale mare. It's a... Was that an E? Whale mare. Okay. <laughs> a totodile. Oh, another starter. And a dratini. So pretty. That's a really nice artwork, too. And a dark... dark Dragonite. It's not a regular Dragonite, so I suppose it's a special one. It has a really nice shiny background. 
and we have a source kit. We have a spiritum, tomb, spiritum. The names. <laughs> oh, and a torchic again. Oh, and this art is really nice. And we have a drowsy. We have a chimchar. An electric again. And a magic carp again. This one seems a little bit faded. And a spoink again. But I think it's a maybe different art. I don't know anymore. A Roselia. A Magneton. Ooh, a Ponita again. With a different artwork. I remember because Ponita is one of my favorites. Whooper! And a uh, Sudo Wudo. <laughs> And the light dugong. So we had a dark um, dragonite, and now we have a light dugong. Okay, and now we have a regular dugong. Okay, it's very wary looking. <laughs> oh, a polywag! Very nice art on this one. Okay, we have a marip. And we have a Mantine. A Dark Raticate. Raticate? One of those. But it's a another dark one. And a Gligar? Gligar? Probably from Gliding, so Gligar. And a Slowpoke with a very, very peculiar artwork. And we have a Shuckle. I really wonder if all of these are genuine Pokemon cards. Drowsy. That's, I think, one of the problems when you're buying from someone. You never know if they're originals or not. Clefairy. Oh, that's a pretty Clefairy. And, uh... Oh, it's a, it's a shiny holographic one. And it's, uh... Let me see. Arceus. Ooh. That's a really pretty one. And we have a hit on top. A Magnar. A Remoraid. Dusclops. I swear these names are getting crazy. A Plusle. Oh, so cute. And we have a Trapinch. A Pikachu again. And again with a different artwork. And this one is Infernape. Ooh, that one's nice. And we have a Torterra. And a Horsey. We have a Sphinx and a Guy Bull or Gibble. I think it's a Gibble. <laughs> Mr. Hens is not done nodding at me right here. And we have a Monkey and a Clee Fairy, a Barmy. Um, Torkoal? I've never heard of this one, ever. But I've heard of a Pillow Swine. <laughs> and a Piplop. And another one. Oh, look, it's a double. Okay, and we have a Ratata. And then a pom. Oh, and it's a trainer card. 
versus seeker vs seeker okay and then we have a corpic corpish corp corpish <laughs> i honestly i bizarre why the, can they be so easy to read as this one <laughs> And we have a Dratini. See, this one is easy to read. And a Sunkern. That's a lot of cards. Kabuto. Torchic. A Bibaro. Sounds French. Right on. And then we have a star you with a very pretty artwork. And a cherim. A bagon. A Pikachu again. And with a different artwork again, I think. A bar me. <laughs> and a uh, Kes Leon <laughs> again. <laughs> Why are they so hard to read? Tartwig. And a uh, War Madame again. Uh, a Grove Vile. Grove Vile. I hope it's a grow vial. A doduo! <laughs> that one's easy. And we have a ghastly. A shroomish. A haunter. A relaxo. <laughs> And this is, I'm pretty sure, a German version of um, of Snorlax, but it's a shiny one. <laughs> Relax. So, uh, we have a Centred, a Equana. <laughs> is that also a German version? Yes, it's a German version of uh, Vaporeon, and the shiny one too. Maybe they're all shiny. Maybe that's like by default. And we have a Sun Slash and Ratata. We have a very peculiar looking Shellos, a Polyrath, and with a shiny background too. Is it German? No. <laughs> and we have a Natu, Natu. A Magikarp. And of course there's an ice cream truck outside. We have another Electric. Okay, and the uh, ice cream truck is now gone, so let's continue. We have a Seedra. A Lantern. Oh, an Eevee. An Eevee again, look at that, it's a double. A Dark Flareon, ooh, interesting. And it's in English. Hmm, Cyndaquil. Another Cyndaquil, oh, with a different artwork. It's a dark war turtle. What war turtle? <laughs> I am so bad at this. <laughs> and the last few we have a Xadu. Xadu. Xatu. <laughs> Hounder. Door. Houndor. Houndoom. Nice. So that's a basic form and a evolved one. Now we have a Natu again. A Chikorita! And a Ghastly. That was a lot of cards, and now imagine we have another stack. So we're going to divide that other stack by two and make it into two other videos. 
So if you would like to see those, then please um, subscribe to our channel and uh, so that you can get notified when that video comes out. But uh, coming back to this, it's a pretty good deal for 20 euro, um, all these cards. Now, of course, we won't be able to play with these because these are mostly just pretty much all of them are just um, collector cards with Pokemon. There are no energies or other cards as so. But still, it's a pretty good start. So thank you so very much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.